Welcome to the inevitable. I'm Hill. It's your boy Ray Amphi. We got a special guest. Guest, Miss Raven is up in the building. How are you? Hi guys. Good. How are you guys? Good, man. So we're about to dig in. So, topic today: How to deal with infidelity, aka cheating. First thing is, have you been cheated on? Of course. Okay. Now, did a person find out that you cheated? Yes. Yeah? But I wanted him to. Ooh, why? Because he cheated first. So you was being petty? I was being petty. Okay, see, so even my dick is two wrongs don't make a right. You're you know? 100% correct that you know? I have grown. I have grown to change, but at that point in my life. Okay, well, first off, how why? How did you find out? Yeah. That, that matters. How did you find out that he was cheating? Uh, shit just went mad up. We lived together. Oh. So it was easy to I mean, find out. You know what, what was in that enough though? What you mean? Like he would come home late? Very late. He was out of his phone? It's all of the above. Come home late. Don't answer the phone on the call. Well, that doesn't mean he was cheating though. Definitely I mean, they, if a person is consistent, answer the phone every time you call, I'll respond to a text message, okay. and then they just stop. But it, did you have physical proof that he was cheating, or this just assumptions that he cheated? I checked his phone. Oh, you found it? Okay, so he cheated. What did you do? Besides cheating on, did you question him, or did you just, okay? I questioned him first. He denied it, and I was like, Exhibit A. Red text message verbatim. Oh, okay. Wait, you had his password and everything? I screenshot him and sent him to myself. You screenshot the shit and send it to yourself. <laughs> right. Okay. You, know, like, you, you can easily delete something and be like, what are you talking about? If like, I got screenshots to show pictures, time, text messages, you can't lie. It's right here. I mean, the button, okay. bro. So here's my thing. Why did you forget? Because we had a child together. Okay. And, and then I loved him. Let me not say that. Not just because we had a child together. Right, yeah, that yeah. had a lot to do with it, okay. but then of course I loved the guy. How did it happen? Like you found out and cheated and then I'm pretty sure you don't call yourself a cheater after that. You just shamed him. So how did you end up cheating on him and then saying, you know, like, walk me through that? Okay, so it was more than once. The first time I did let it go. You cheated on him more than once. No, he cheated on me more than once. Okay. First time I let it go. Okay. First time we sat down and talked about it. Have a discussion. Let's discuss what's going on. Why do you feel the need to cheat? Am I not here enough? What am I doing? Because I worked a lot. Right. Because of course I have to take care of my kids. I had another son. Um, so I ask questions, get okay. down to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. Something I'm doing, do I need to do something better? What's the problem? Is it, what is it? Oh, well, just because I was bored and then you'd be at work for 12 hours and I was bored. Okay, let's change that. I'll take another shift next time. Okay. We'll do things different. We'll spend more time together. But he cheated the first time, you say he cheated another time. Why did you not leave the second time though? Obviously that's just showing like, hey, you know, I don't give up. He didn't, he didn't give a fuck. He'll just keep it real. I mean, to a certain, I mean, it depends on how you look at it, mm -hmm. of course. At the time, I was in love. Okay. And I'm like, I have a child with you. We live together. I have a child together. I'm in love with the guy. Right. Second time, it wasn't like right away. It was a minute. It was, yeah. it was a minute. It was Whatever, a minute. however long it was, it was a good minute. Okay. All right. So how did it go from, okay, you're in a relationship, you're trying to make it work to I love him, to where, you know what, fuck it. Was it more because you were still mad at him, or was it, or were you just out of love at that point? The second time, it was because I was pissed. Because first time shame on me, second time shame on me, literally, I forgave you, we talked about it, you said if there was a problem, you weren't happy, we agreed to come with each other, no matter what it was. Okay. Was it and the same, you didn't. Uh, was it the same person? No. Oh. And you didn't. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He, he didn't. So yeah. therefore, every single day before I went to work, I stopped and got a coffee at this AMPM from the corner store at my job. Mm -hmm. There was a guy in there, and every time he would hit on me, regardless if I looked. Tired, a hot mess, ponytail, oh, no lip gloss, I'm just sure go in there. Good. And not all of them, not being tired, you know what I'm okay. saying? Just go in there, hair in a ponytail, no nothing. They'd be like, oh, you look different today. Didn't say you're ugly, but just like, oh, you look different today. He's like, you're more pretty when you don't jazz yourself up. Just be you. Right. So I was like, oh, okay, but it's not about you. I see people every day at my job, so I have to be, you know what I'm saying? So, right. And then, of course, you know, a few months after you're talking to a person, you're getting to know a person, or you're getting your coffee, and it's like, oh, it's on me this time. Or, how are you? Do you have kids? And you just start getting to know each other. And you have nicknames when they come to the store, like your usual right. different shit. You just okay, AMP, AMP. right. <laughs> so you cheated. Did he find? Did he ever find out that you cheated? Yes. No, but how long did that process take? Because A and P and us, like, goddamn, like, what? I can't even go to the corner store no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. But I mean, like, yeah. So how did he find out? So I, I want to. I don't want to say I just told on myself, but I have a bad habit. 
Every year I get a planner, and I write everything in my planner that I do. So now Sadi so found out? He read my planner. And what did your planner say? I'm gonna go hey. spend a night at do from AMPM, or was this just No, it's just like, like, I, like, I, like I put everything I do, so I was like, called off and hung out with blah, 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 blah. Why? Because it's a bad fucking Why? habit. <laughs> It's a bad, it's a very bad habit that's that I like, have. You're like the female dove that just documents I did, my No, it's just because I remember I can go back and tell you anything from three years from now. I'm like, let me read my book. I mean, only, I don't do it as much now, honestly. Now I just do professional stuff, like yeah, sure. doctor's appointments and stuff, only because it did tell on me. Okay. So but I was happy that he found out if that's bad, I don't care. But I was like, good, you need to find right, out. Like, he found out. That you're not the only one that can do this. Like, what do you mean? Did he forgive you like you forgave him, though? Was it more talk or was it more like... Physical. It was physical, all right. More so y'all was like, you know, loving hip-hop at that point. Uh, yeah. All right. Slap the bitch. Yeah. Well, my hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. But, but you, you look like a fighter too, though. I'm sure exactly. I mean, it was a bad relationship. It was a bad relationship. It was a bad relationship. Sorry, we're not trying to bring up the old times. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, it was like a bad can, relationship. It was like I can Tina in a car. Right, like don't person. don't be with nobody just because you have kids. Right. Don't let that be the reason. Okay, so this point, both of y'all cheated. You cheated. He cheated. Y'all still together now. Mm -hmm. He knows you did that. Now I feel by that time that relationship got to be toxic because if I'm with someone, she cheated on me. I cheated on. We're still together. Honestly, I'm like, what 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 are we doing? Because I ain't never gonna trust her. She ain't gonna trust me. Who left who? Like, what was the final straw where you was like, man, I can't do this shit. Like, or I don't trust you, or he left, or you left. No, or, he would never leave. I asked him to leave, he wouldn't leave. Oh, shit. Okay. He would never leave. Else. Okay. The police did get involved. Oh, shit. Oh. And that was that. Okay. And that was that. Also, he like, yeah, it was called a cops. We so I didn't. I didn't call the cops, though. I had a friend, his friend, lived across but upstairs. It was like, I had no His friend called the cops? Uh huh. Because oh. his friend liked me. So mm. when he find out the situation, of course, my, he would go in there and tell him the situation and tell him our business. Okay. So and then his did. friend hit me up one time and was like, you don't deserve him. You're so good. Okay. You're so, so bad. He oh. I heard you cheated. You had every right to blizzy blah, blah. Okay. So, Dale, same question for you. You cheated before. Okay. All right. What made you cheat? Um, honestly, because I was young at that time. It's because it's like, well, shit. All my other friends is like single and popping. Mm -hmm. Like I want to be single and popping, but I still want a relationship as well. It's like a follower so like, a little bit well, though. Because what? That, that's follower. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, okay. that, that's, that's cool. That's Sorry cool. if I was having fun. I, yeah. Okay. You want to have fun too? Okay. If I'm out here doing X, Y, Z, of course right. you're gonna be like, hey, like I want to get in, like. I ain't judging. I'm, 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 I'm just making sure that the guests in the summer will be on. That's so, all. All right. Yeah. That, 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 all right. So y'all did that. Um, did she find it? Well, who? Did she find out that you cheated? No, she didn't find out. No, never to this day. Okay then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so did Smooth you move, play right here. Right. Did you end up leaving her for the chick that you cheated on? Or uh, did you? Uh, so you have to kick you to who D basically. I know. I disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about you? Fuck. No, no. see, all of a sudden I'm trying to avoid that question. Go. All of a sudden I'm trying to avoid that question, but go. Actually, uh, uh, two thousand questions. Of, of exactly. Yeah, right. That's what I'm trying to throw another whole different scenario. You ain't answered the question. No, y'all remember some one hundred percent. How you deal with the who cheat? Did you cheat or did she cheat first? All right. So this is how it became me. Make uh, I'm gonna try to make the long story short. I am or was a, a relationship guy. Man. You know, relationship guy to where I always would had a girlfriend, but it wasn't just short term, it was long term. Had this chick ain't gonna say her name, but I'm sure she knows who she is. Was head over heels with her. You know. Have pictures, you know, you know, back in the day when you go to the mall and take pictures and shit. Oh yeah. I had the pictures on the mirror, you know, That's like this is my girl, you know, we'd be on the phone listening to some Casey and JoJo and shit. So, um, I found out for her friend. It's her friend said that she that, hey, I think so and so cheated on you. I'm like, I don't think so, this and that. You know, so you hear stories, whatever, blah blah. And um I confronted her about it. And, you know, she kept it real. She was like, honestly, you know, I'm starting talking to someone else and damn. I'm not feeling that, and that was that. And uh, I was like, damn. So, which led me to be like, at that time, fuck all females, um, whatever. I mean, it kind of, we put the pieces together. Put the pieces together. <laughs> so, you know, I was mad, so I got over it, but, you know, I'm, I'm also not cheating no more. I feel like, if you're going to cheat, you might as well just be single. True. When you're single, you don't got to answer nobody, you got to answer nobody, you can do what you want to do. But, I have a question. Because, hmm. I feel like, chemistry and around people is just real, it's just, 
something just like you could be caught in somebody just like or whatever you be like damn I'm really feeling this for some reason you know and hmm. if I could hit you and you're at the same level as me and we just like mesh together then of course chemistry like sparks are gonna fly like right. whatever so in a sense it's like could you be mad or should you be mad that first time that that person cheats? Hell yeah! Like like really mad. Man, it's like this. When I'm in a relationship, when, when anybody's dating, most part, you're, you're, I'm not going to date you if I don't see myself with you. Like I'm dating to build to grow. Right. That means I'm putting my all into this. It's not just what do I want to eat? What do we want to eat? You know, what am I going to do today? What are we going to do? So I'm putting, I'm investing all this time in you and I'm hoping that you're doing the same. Now, when you put all that time into someone, especially you put in like years, and that person ended up just cheating on you or hurting you, dog, you feel like you just, all oh, that was just a waste of time. Yeah, when you got all these time. other people trying to holler at you, do this, you're like, damn. I passed up on so many good females, or in your case, so many good guys, for someone that don't give a fuck. Shit, this happens sometimes. Yeah, man, but it doesn't mean it gotta happen, though. You know? Man, but it's bring me to the thing, but bring me to the thing. That's man. why it's hard to trust people. That's why when I'm with someone, sure. if I see something I don't like, you should, I'll just cut it off. But I feel it's like locked up, but it's real. You can cheat in different. You don't have to have sex with somebody. You True. Cheat. Mentally, I can be with somebody else okay. other than you. Yeah. Because I feel like infidelity and cheating, period, goes hand in hand while you're in a relationship. If you're not strong enough to be by my side while shit is going on, it don't matter if we're being. Wait, so you're saying that I should right. stick with you, like if a person cheats. So no, I'm saying. Cheat, cheat, go ahead. Right. Like, like, well, yeah, I guess. No. I'm Do you agree with that? Raven, if somebody is something you have to well, back in the day I did, I'm like if you cheat, everybody deserves a second chance. Yeah. I always have said everybody shit you never I mean not saying shit happens. Shit does happen. Yeah. You're gonna be tested. Shit happens. You never know the situation. But then it's like, damn, cheating though? Is it oh, well, now I don't give I don't know, it's man. done That's if I have like, to if I let me explain. Fuck that shit. Let me explain. I mean, okay, okay. I'm a little lost on the question. Are you saying like like am I gonna trip on certain types of cheating? Like am I gonna break up with a chick? If she's texting another guy. Yeah. No, I'm talking about she's fucking another guy. But I would honest to God, I would rather for you to cheat on me and fuck another bitch versus texting a bitch every single morning. Oh, good morning, how really beautiful. What are you doing? Y'all exchange and telling about my household. Y'all be Why? Because when you're emotionally connected to somebody, it probably is it just no, I don't want you to be emotionally connected to anybody. You can cheat and I'd be like, you better not ever see that bitch again, I'll kill you. And you'd be like, okay, was no connection right. there. If it was that. no connection. I don't care about it. It's like we talked. I seen her. I liked her. She liked me. We did it, and that was it. Versus if you're emotionally connected yeah. to somebody, and you're telling everybody somebody, good morning every day. Well, how are you, babe? What did you eat? How's your day? How's the kids? How's your mom? How's this? How's this? Okay, I love you. And it's no, no, you never hug, kiss. But you still, why, why are you not? Exactly. Like why are you not talking to I'm me that way? Like, why are you got another whole yeah. person that you're talking to like this? Like, why? I'm not talking about when you're intimate with someone. I believe it's like a spiritual connection a little bit. I feel like you're giving them a piece of you. That's just me. Some people believe some don't. Yeah, I know what you're saying. The emotional connection that's been too. But when you actually share your body with someone, like I'm in you, you Fuck me, whatever. All that shit. That, that's not about you. No, no, I know. I used to think that way when I was like. Sometimes you get lust confused with lust. Sometimes you have sex with someone, those feelings become deeper. No, I don't care what anybody says. I believe it. I believe it one hundred percent. But I feel like in this age, this digital era, period. Well, what the two thousand nineteen, everything. I can't fall in love with my words, period. Exactly. Okay. That's true though, because you see some people be like, how the hell they get together? Look at him, look at her. Not judging, but it's like you don't know what that man said to her, or what she said to him, or whatever the case may be. People have game. You can't never know. No, man, I'm over that though. But I feel like the shit. In a point, you just get tired of bullshit, man. You like, mean, what's in the dark comes into the light at the end of the day. Yes. And I don't know, man. I just like, yeah, you know, during my twenties, I was walling out. I was doing me, you know. Like, people say certain shit. Okay, even though a female is always like, hey, you know, just be honest and what you want. If you just tell a woman, hey, I just want to have sex with you. What do you call? Not telling that team you ain't gonna get them. So that's why a lot of times do say things that they want to hear. Even though women's always I mean, like, oh, that's she's true. real, but, but you know. It is, you, you, and then all of a sudden, you do that, and they're like, you cheat. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm tired of the side. Yeah, it yeah. is like, you know, tell me you should have said what you want from the get-go instead of wasting my damn time. Because at that time, you may have got what you wanted because I probably right. wanted the same thing at the time. Right. But now you're wasting my time trying to woo me like you care, and all you wanted was a pussy. 
I mean, and they keep, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Okay, you have the point to where that you want to get married, or you want to see just in the generation that we live in now, or are you just like, hey, it is what it is, or I really, I really am, I really do want to settle with someone. Who, do, who don't want to settle down with somebody? Who wants to be a lot, single a lot. or hopping person person? You, of course, you want to be with somebody and build and grow with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But in 2019, the world that we live in, it's, that's hard to find. See, okay. I mean, I get it, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Because I feel like with the internet and everything like that, with online, you can meet so many different type of cultures and different type of people to where we ain't had that back in the day, like I said before in the earlier podcast. Um, I feel like our parents, they just dated who was whoever went to their school that was in the neighborhood because they didn't have the option to find somebody in I London, it. Jamaica, things like that. You know, so I feel like low key they somewhat settled because they, that, that's just and what my they mom. Say. I'm not gonna say my mom stayed. She settled, but my mom was like, I was not attracted to your dad, right? At all, I was not attracted to him. But she was like, he wouldn't leave me alone. Exactly. And he kept asking, so finally I was like, okay. And then he came to be a good guy. She was like, but at first, originally I wasn't attracted to him. Okay. He was just a nice guy. But I'm only going off for what my mom said. She was like, my dad was basically a bugaboo. Okay. And then after oh. she seen how he was and he carried himself and he handled his business versus how other people was, who just wanted to play games, who just wanted to cheat, who didn't want to have jobs, and my dad was like doing everything he was supposed to do, she was like, well, hell, why not? So she found another attraction then. Yes. <laughs> what do you consider ugly, though? Flavor Flav. Right. Flavor Flav okay, is universally ugly for some yeah, reason. I don't why, know why. why does all these females want to be with him? Because he's Flavor Flav. Just They're because of the name? Yes, of course. He's the hype man. You know what I'm saying? Just to say, anybody uh, up, think, come, come on now, be serious. Be serious. All them girls blind up. Some they of them even said be delicious, hoops, all them. They were like, ooh, I don't want to kiss him, but I got to because I'm on TV. Would you have him on the show? Keep oh, it real. No. Really? Jesus, just to be seen? Man. No, I don't need no. to be seen. Not, not like that. Okay. I, I don't need to be because I'm not gonna put. I'm not. I probably throw up in that man's mouth. I can't. Wow. That's gross. That he is ugly. There ain't nothing I can do with that. I'm sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No, 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 no. So what you're saying is you prefer over a man that treats you good. It's part of you. He already come with. You would pick a person that pretty much treats you like shit. But, Back then, but the sex now. is good, and you're very much attracted to him. Meaning he compliments you. Because everybody want to date somebody that compliments themselves. I want to date a person that compliments me. You want to date a person. But you really, but you pick that asshole over from. I just have, I have, I've have. changed over the years. Sure? I have, I'm serious. I've lived and learned. So you would date a flavor flag? Still no. You said you changed. But that not that changed. So you mean to tell me what is the ugliest female? Think of the, you would date an ugly ass female like that. If it was a, fe a, a female flavor flag, look just like flavor flag with a wig on, you would date her. <laughs> you would be if you would kiss on her, have her in public on your Snapchat, on your media. You would date her. No, no, no. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna say honestly. <laughs> the younger me, like you said, no. But <laughs> see, no, no, no. This is another person. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say her name. I dated a chick. I dated a chick for over a year, and uh, I was not attracted to her when I first met her. But we worked together. Her personality made her attractive to me. Okay. When I first seen her, I was like, no, not to be a dick, but it just it's not wrong having a preference. No, like, I started becoming attracted to her because she was cool. And every time, you know, I got those friends like, oh, man, you know what you doing? Even my sister was like, bro, bro. You know? <laughs> All right. So, but, so, I'm saying, so, yes, I would, because it's not, a person's personality can make them look sexy as hell. It's true. So, I'll agree. Wait, wait, I agree. I can't lie, I agree. Yes. I feel like when you, some people got sex, sex. I, I used to be like, okay, y'all can have sex with someone, that's it. But now, I mean, it's, it's a connection, though. Let's say, let's be real. You might not be, you might like someone, but when y'all have sex, and it's, let's say it's amazing, I don't care what I said, sometimes villains kind of go girlfriend like, damn, you're cool in the sex is bomb, that makes me like even more. Sure. There have been females I was hella attracted to, I liked a lot, but when we had sex, the sex was whack, and some, I kind of pushed myself away from it. How's that happened to you? I ever had bad sex to where it started out good, but the sex was so bad, you kind of started distancing yourself away from it. Okay, you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that sex is everything, but it is important. It is very important. So you can talk about oh, whatever emotional attacks, but hey, if somebody has sex with your female, your, you know, whatever, good, and yeah, I think that would hurt even more. What well, if somebody mentally has my my my, my girl? She already gone. Yeah, exactly. but I'm sure that because now it's now it's just. But I'm, I'm sure, sure that your girl had you mentally at the time that you cheated on. No, I'm just saying. Your girl had you mentally at the point, and you still end up doing what you're doing. 
I said women are emotional. Yeah, so so I meant. So if you could control I'm that emotion, about man. just period, like that's how you can get a girl. Like be persistent. Yeah. Say hello, how you doing, beautiful, whatever. When it worked, when it worked, goddamn it, when it worked. No, you're right. <laughs> the one people are persistent. That it does. Like, I mean, oh, it will happen. God, he thinks I'm gorgeous and beautiful, so let me just rock out with him because he's really feeling me like that. But a little bit, you know, they know at that time that it was just game. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't really thinking you was beautiful. I just wanted to exactly. That goes back to the question where you say keeping it real, or we say be upfront. Have you ever went to a dude, vice versa? Have you told a dude that you just want to fuck, and that's it? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like a female could literally, literally have sex with any dude she wants. Then what guys can't. A female could be like, hey, just make a phone call, come over, okay. Because most dudes would just, most guys would just fuck anything. Dudes, you know, we gotta put in time, we gotta. Um, you know, get a little thing, something like that, right? Do you still do that though, or now are you like I got to be in a relationship with you to have sex with you, or if you were just want to do something? Are you just straight up like, hey man, I just want to fuck? Hey man, I just want to fuck. Still, yeah. If I find somebody to be in a relationship with, then of course that changes the game. Yeah. But right now I haven't found that person, so I'm doing whatever I want to do. Okay. Is sex very sacred to you though? Yes, because I don't just sleep with anybody. Okay. Wait, hold on, wait. Um, you say that. All right, like let's say you really like the person or whatever the case may be, and they hit you at a moment where it's like, I just want to have sex with you. Of course you say yeah because you like him. Right. But how do you deal with that state after? Because they don't want to be with you, they just want to, to have sex. What do you do with that uh, that mental state? Because it's like, I really like you and I want to be with you, and all you want to do is just have sex. So, like, that right there, what do you do with that? That space that you in, that he just put you in, like what you do. That's a hard ass question. It is a hard question. It <laughs> I don't is, know. I don't is, know. Yeah, I don't know like, like you just said, when you like somebody, I mean, just they, honest with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they do tell you they do. I mean, if you do sleep with them, but then of course you'd be more attached depending on the situation. But that's hard to say. I mean, okay. So come to, I, the way I would do that, I'm just always honest with the person. Before they even get to that point, I'm just like, look, I don't really want anything out of it. Because we all used to leave people on. You know, a little bit was wrong, but we did it. But um, sometimes people get too attached, and uh, it becomes harder to break it to them, like, the longer you hold on to it. Sure. So, a lot of times they're like, yeah, I'm cool, I get it. But they don't. They still try and try and try. That's when you got to kind of just let them go. No, that's true. But it's the same thing with guys. Because like, I told you from the gate that it, what it was when we met. When you met me on my tag page or whatever it is, I said I did not want anything serious. Okay. That we could just hang it's out. It's kind of man, because I'm single and this <laughs> shit, Tinder ain't working out. I, I'm not a Tinder fan. I don't like. To, I'm not a Tinder fan. I'm not. Yeah, I'm the, yeah. Nobody is. I don't, I don't get to swipe in. Then you got to match. I rather just send a message. You know? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a Tinder fan. Right right <laughs> uh, dating in this generation. Is it harder today or do you feel like it's easier now because you got options? I feel like if you wanted to have a free dinner every night, you could because all these online sites. Sam, you just you just said, yourself, right? No, you I, I, it, I'm just going off the things. That, I can't speak for everybody else, but it is. Yeah. I can be free the rest of my life if I want to. If you get on the same, you get a stick, whatever. But that's not what it's about, honestly. It's like, no, because honestly, if I'm not attracted to you, mm-hmm. I don't care how many times you say hi, good morning, you're so beautiful. I don't care, I'm not going to. If I'm not attracted to you, I'm not going with you. Okay. So I'm I guess not. it's fair to say that attra- attraction is a big thing. I mean, I ain't gonna say a big, big thing, but it plays a part, it plays a huge part. I'm sorry, I'm not about to just go out with a flavor flame. I'm not doing that. So where do you draw the line between attraction and being persistent? Where is that line at? But on dating sites, it's up to me. So I can have, Hundreds of messages in there, and I can flip through all of it if I'm not attracted to you just okay. a little bit. It's just like, no, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? All right, I get that. Now, here's my thing with dating sites and stuff like that. Me, when I'm talking to someone, if I'm really going to get to know you, I, I can't talk to multiple people at the same time. I tried it. Yeah, it's cool, but it, it's too much to keep up with. It's like, hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Oh, hey. Then I got to go back and look at the picture. Who's this again? We all do that. In the text message, you ever got a, somebody text you, you don't get the number say, so you got to go through the I'm text I'm a straight message. bitch, because I'd be like, if you want to hit me up, hit me up on here. Yeah. We're okay. not there yet. Me? me I don't get my number like shit. I, I got to review. So, meaning, um, okay, do you talk to multiple guys on when you're, you're single, mm-hmm. so do you talk to more than one person? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
But how do you really get to know someone if you're focusing on this person, that person, and this person? Or do you love having the multiple options? So it ain't nothing wrong with that. Some people no, like having options. I just, I narrow it down, of course. I have so many messages. I don't, honestly, some people I probably miss, but whoever I'm attracted to, that's who I'm going to talk to. As soon as they hit me up, if I'm attracted, if we're both attracted, you're attracted to me because you hit me up, I'm going to message you back because I'm attracted to you too. Like, what's up? Mm -hmm. But then we start talking and you start talking gibberish or outside of your ass. That changes the game, like you're done and I'm done with you. Block, moving so, on, you know what I'm saying? What is it? So what would a man have to have and be for you just to let all these guys go just for him? Honestly, with dating sites within the first two or three days. Okay. I don't want to say that, but depending on how much you go back and forth, if you can have a consistent conversation, texting back and forth. Right. Without anything, you're going to be able to tell if you bind, I mean bind, yeah. if you go with that person, you know what I'm saying? If you blend with that person, if y'all get along, if y'all like it because Somebody's gonna say something. What for me? This is stupid, and y'all can say whatever y'all want to. But one of my biggest pet peeves is that somebody hit me up and say, "What's good?" I hate it. I don't know why. I hate it. If you say, "Good morning, how are you? What's up?" For I mean, me, it's like, "Yo, what's like, yo, what's good?" Is it like saying, "What's up, mom?" Like that? Is I don't funny. know. It's just something about it where you just be like, "Yo, what's good?" I mean, just like, you know what? Like what? Why? So what you want to? Hey, beautiful. How are you? No, not even that. Just a regular. Hey, how are you? Or what's up? Or nice to meet you. Or how are you? You know, what's what's okay. good? I don't know what, what is good. Okay. Um, if somebody did cheat on you now, nope. They're just cut off. You, Done. you don't forgive them. You don't give them a second chance. Done with that. I'm 35 years old. I mean, I get it. People are 35 life. years old, and I mean, I don't people, give a shit. I'm not doing it. That I live that life. I always forgive and forget, like, oh, it's okay, we'll work through it. So you know? just straight, no. you don't care about the excuse? Well, I don't just, care, because what excuse? You fall in the trip in shit? Okay, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Back then, I was like naive and believed, like, oh my God, it's fine, it happens, because you never know. It might, I might be drunk, or people use that as I was drunk, I was high, or it was late, or she you, came you, home to me, I don't though? care about are, none of that. Are you 100% faithful? I am. So when you're in a relationship, you cut all dudes off, even texting, get like, but if you're in a relationship, somebody say, good morning, beautiful, how are you? What's your reply? I'll ignore them. Ignore or I'll say I'm in a relationship right now. I have got blocked on Facebook so many times because of that. Okay. Only for it not to work a month later. And I'm like, damn, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. So pretty much, um, so what it sounds like is you don't really believe in second chances at this point in your life. I don't. So taking a break, right? Because that's what people like do now. They take no, a I don't know. No, I don't believe in taking a break. Sometimes you fucking like need a break. Taking a break to also like, like be I don't just, just be over. Because taking a break meaning I'm, I'm giving you time to go find someone and I'm Doing yeah, I feel like I'm leaving the door open for someone else to walk in. Pretty much. Because it's taking a break. So it's like, okay, so we're taking a break. So we're together, but we're not together. We're taking a break. The fuck is that? Yeah. Right. Like, oh, is it, what's right. the rules with what's this break? Rules? Like, yeah. what do you yeah. care? What can yeah, I, can I, I, I can, If we're on a break, can I still. Yeah, am I allowed to go? Okay. Somebody give me a break. Because I'm just saying, like, if somebody give me a break, I'm. I haven't heard nobody take a break in the year 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it, it's, it's good for relations, bro. Because it's like, if I meet you at a certain point where it's like, we on the same level, we, we vibing, and you know, everything's going great. Okay. And then me dealing with my emotions, because I feel like people don't deal with their shit. True. Which is emotional shit. True. Right. I need a break, like a week break, just to, to get my emotions together. Oh okay, God. I get that part. From from and, and I, I get what you're saying. The negativity shit because but, it's like my past caught up with me. Right? But people I don't deal with that shit. People don't know how to deal with being hurt. True. But people I deal see, with being I hurt see. by getting a fucking new job. No. All working on myself. How the fuck are you working on yourself and you ain't even deal with emotional baggage like that other person caused? I just see you take before they just know they jump in a quick relationship, but yeah. you know, people back in the day said, "What is that? What was the saying? Like the best way to get over somebody is it's to get under somebody." Under somebody or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like what? what? But that's what people do it yeah. though. So, like they, to he, to uh, like stop being pain. It does create more problems. Honestly, it does. But people don't see it that way. When you're hurt, their attitude is like, "I'm hurt. I need to go be with somebody else to see if it'll stop." And it's like, no, that's not what that's. Yeah. No, it's not. But that's what 98 percent of the world to me. They do. Yeah, they do. I just don't believe taking a break. I feel like taking a break. I don't you're, you're, a break. you're leaving the door open for another man or a woman to take your spot. Because while you're taking a break, that person might be over here comforting your chick. Because if I say I'm gonna take a break, I feel like my shit's gonna be hard, bro. Right. Because but, she's uh, like, uh, I don't want to take yeah. a break. Why are we taking right. a break? So, 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 I don't understand. So, what is yeah. this break we're talking about or, here? Or if my shit told me, hey, I want to take a break. I'm like. 
does she want to talk to someone else? It's going to make me feel some type of way. And then right. some shit might come around and be my best friend. And honestly, I might come in with her because she was there while you left. Why you wanted your break. I'm not, not saying, though, but that's why I don't believe in taking a break. Because you're leaving the door open for someone else to come in. So then, if you, you work it out, by, by that standard, then, so do you say, all right, I'm with you. I've been hurt before. I've been treated like shit. We all have. Last female that I was with, she cheated on me. She did this, that, and the third, or whatever the case may be. So now, mm. um, I'm with you. And I don't know what to do with my emotions. But I still want to be with you, though. So you're going to help me with my emotions. I will. I will. A, a I'm the type of person I will. Yeah. Like, let's work it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, like, with that being said, there is still going to be some negativity, like, drawbacks in my head. Okay. Period. Just, just bad thoughts. But you Because if a person has never had shit at all, period, and they finally get something good, they don't know how to react to that. But you want someone they that's gonna stay do. with you. It does, if somebody, if somebody can't stand with you at your worst, they don't deserve to be with you at your best. Right. At the end of the day, not to sound corny, but that's real. I want a woman that she's with me at my worst. So when I'm at my best, she's still there. That's when you know someone cares about you. If someone only want to come around when you're at your best, I think they just won't. You know what I'm saying? They they don't really care. They like you when they're when you're at your best, but are they there for you when? I gotta go to the hospital, or I broke my leg. Oh, well, I'm gonna go dance. Your leg's broke, so I'm gonna go dance about you. That's why. That's shit. But you know, take a break all you want, man. I just feel like I'd rather us figure it out and we move. We keep moving forward. You feel me? I do. I agree. All right. I don't need my break. Have you ever walked in on a woman cheating on you? Oh, what? I remember you never walked in on someone uh, not having sex. Not sex, but like another man in the house. That you didn't know. Of course. You have? Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> I, 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 I will be in jail. So you were standing, hold on, I just want to make sure I'm saying this right. You were standing on one man, man you, you popped up, and she had another man in the house. Yeah. Okay. What was your reaction? Be honest. Of course, anybody would be mad because they're young and I'm territorial. This is my shit. This is my female. This is my bitch. This is my pussy. Okay. But now it's just like, whatever. You just chop it up to the game. So did you end up fighting the guy and going off? You didn't fight him? No. You was like, hi sir, this is my girlfriend, please leave. You don't know what somebody has. That's true. Man. Period. You don't know where nobody comes from or shit like that. So okay. your best thing to do is just just wait. Like, right, here's my thing though. Can you honestly be mad if your girl cheated or your person, your dude cheated, right? You walk in, he got another chick in the house. Can you really be mad at her? Because she doesn't know about you. Nine times out of ten, he just told her that he was single and you walk in. Are you going to try to beat up the girl and him or are you just going to go after him? Back in the day, I would have been like, fuck all of them. Everybody's going right. down. You know what I'm saying? Like Everybody was as hard as the cases they gave me. But now that I'm older, if she if she genuinely did not know about me, it's between me and you now. Nine times she probably did it. And, and, but if she knew, like you say, nine times out of ten, she knew. It's probably, bitch probably know my schedule better than yeah. I know my schedule. Like, ain't your girl supposed to be at work? Yeah. It's Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? It's I'll hurt you, but if she genuinely did not know about me, I have nothing, me and you have nothing to talk about, get your clothes, little girl, and go. The reason why I see that, because it seems like every time the dudes or female cheat, they go after the person that they cheat on what, but it's like, can you be mad at them because your dude or your female, whatever, is the one that opened that door. They That's true, but you, didn't have, that door. but you didn't have to go, you didn't have to take the bait. Yeah, true. You didn't have to, leave it alone. You, If you knew he was with somebody, I don't care if he said, well, it was Rocky. Well, where y'all was in a bad spot, but well, wait till the hell the bad spot is bad, bad, and we break up and we're done. So you walk in, uh, and listen, you're doing it working on your your house that you worked hard for, on your bed that you sleep in. He is sleeping with another woman on your bed. You now, how how do you handle that situation now? Since you say you handled it different, what do you do now? No. Well, maybe I won't handle it different then. See? Because okay. if she knew about me, yeah. you, there, there, there's no way you know him. You just that's walk true. In. I don't know. You just walk no, in. I'm gonna attack. Him. Honestly, I would probably attack him first. But you still want to come for her. But if if she's in my house, then yeah, it's like that you know that. you know that it's something because if you ever been in my house or I have pictures, my house is always that room. Me and my kids, pictures, it's stuff to see. Like the female, here she go, here she go, here she go. Here she go. If you're in my bedroom, you're gonna see the same thing. I have picture collages of everything. You you know something, girl. Okay. You won't love your sister that much, and she's all over your walls. So really? someone that you're going, you're going after her. Sister. Yeah, I'm gonna go after him first. And I'll just catch her later. Me and my sister do a run up in a pull so up don't later. Don't worry, go after him. just leave and, and, and just and just being like, I'm done. Why 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 resort to violence? 
Man, fuck that. Don't, that. don't, that. don't that. say it like you wouldn't. Right. Don't, don't, don't say it like you wouldn't have said it. Come on, girl, right now. I'm not for a friend. Exactly. I keep my whole paycheck on it. Let him walk the door and see some his chicken to be able to do. Come on. Okay, now, like I was saying, since I'll be the adult here. Yeah, my ass. <laughs> we, we're, I'm saying, we're speaking realistic no, okay, facts right I, hear, now. I didn't say what I would do. I'll just ask you a question, though. Why not just walk away from me instead of just risking going to Because I'm a something. Virgo and it makes me feel good to get even. Okay, but I will but, get the but last y'all talking, talking about, well, I don't know what he might have and she might do this to me, I might do that. But yeah, y'all say if I walk in, I'm gonna beat the ass. But so you're gonna have to say, I know, like, girl, you got a gun in your purse? Let's go. You don't know that, though. I mean, that's true. You don't you know, know what you're saying. So, are you gonna say that you would do something and you, when you well, just I said, say, I don't, I don't know, know what they got? My mom always tell me, Raven, you need to calm down because you don't think before you do. I hit my baby daddy with my car. I literally did because I was so pissed off and just seen red. And she's like, girl. I told yeah. you, you have to so come that is still in you. You oh, have to know that was home. when my son's eight now. He was, I was, hey. it was a long time ago. But I have changed because if, if something like that, it was just him. Sometimes some, it's hard to say. Some things I just like, you know what? You're not worth it. This situation ain't worth it. I'm done. Hey. I can't do whatever. You're not, nothing. And he's like, well, you're too, you're too calm. What are you gonna do? I ain't about to do nothing. I just really want you to get your stuff, and I want you to. Well, go okay, well, but, but you're not gonna do that. Though. You're gonna jump on him. I don't know. It yourself. depends on the situation. Ah, I'm you're sorry. going back and forth. I had to go back. No, to think stop. About it. No, because I'm gonna come back to you. Now, this you just said, Greg. <laughs> no, hold on. This dude just said. All right. Hold on. Stop. He just said, I'm not gonna do this to the guy because I don't know what he got. Yeah. But yeah, when I made that compliment, he's like, nigga, fuck that. I'm gonna do this, <laughs> nigga. Do this. How you gonna, but yet, two seconds ago, you said that you're not gonna do nothing because you don't know what he got, you don't wanna die. But just now. That's, oh, but he oh, said oh, that oh, messing with a married person, though. Yeah. You, that was, you're married, you walk in, the person is in your bed. Same thing. Okay, you walk in your house. Yeah. You and your chick is married. Yeah. She got another dude in your bed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he probably doesn't know nothing about you, and obviously, he probably doesn't give a fuck to even search. He just wanna get some ass. You walk in, he is fucking the shit out of your girl in your bed. What do you do? Alright, so this is your house. This is your house. Okay, yeah. You know what's in your house. Okay. Yes, you know what's in your house or whatever the case may be. But in, at the end of the day, like, I'm a black man. And Ooh, nine times out of ten. He's black too. Yeah, but nine times out of ten, his pants on the side of the bed. He ain't about to get up and pull the strap right, out okay. of his boxes. So, are you saying, so at that point then, if he doesn't have any clothes on, then you will attack him. I mean, but it's, it's, it's like, who fighting a dude that's naked? <laughs> Keep that shit real. Like, no, dude. Like, pull those get the fuck out of your house. And you walk in on your wife cheating on you, it doesn't even matter. You're no, most likely you're gonna blow no, up and you're gonna want it to be. Like, nah, I'm not fighting it. So you're gonna sit there and be like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> this butt ass nigga. You gonna wait for him to get drunk? <laughs> yeah, like, come yeah, on. Now. I'm not fighting. He's walking in. I'm not, dog. I don't believe, I don't believe that. I feel what? like you walked in on a woman that you so you're proposed to. Yes. Thinking ball no, ball. I'm not gonna be thinking, dude. I'm not. If I walk in, there's another man in my home on my bed. Well, my wife, that I I sacrifice so much for. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm snapping. <laughs> I'm, that's just an honest answer because you, you don't think when you're mad. You don't, you don't think when you you're don't mad. Think. So first thing I'm doing you is you don't think when you're mad. Whoop him. Because either way, I'm gonna go to jail. Either way, it doesn't matter at that point. I'm going to jail. So fuck it. This is my house. I'm paying bills. I but has anything ever happened to you where it's just like an overload where you? Like, okay, I can't deal and with I just this blew up? No, where you just like, I can't deal with the situation. Something needs to fucking happen fast because I'm getting pissed off when I start to like come back. So you had to like walk away from your, you had to walk away because you knew he was going to blow up? Yeah, like. I mean, I, not to that extent. You did? That, I got nothing, flushed. What, like, I never walked in on a woman. She, no. No, no, no. I got you before, but how I walked in? Not walk in, but, but I'm just, just saying, like, there's some, there's certain shit that's happened. It don't fucking matter yeah. if you're cheating or not. I'm just saying, like, something happened in your life to where you was like, hey, this shit is not computing in my head, and... Lord, forgive me, I almost... It blows uh, yeah. up in my head, I'm just gonna do some stupid shit, so this shit needs to happen yeah. quickly. Somebody needs to get the fuck out of my face. Right. Yes. I mean, Lord, forgive me, when I was young, um, I almost got down to a fight at church, because I found out, I ain't gonna say a person's name, they was... Um, Dude was trying to be my best friend, trying to be all cool, this and that, be cool, whatever. For those that don't know, I'm a cancer survivor. I was going through chemo at the time. I was just like 12 years ago. And I found out the dude was trying to holler at my chick, trying to be my best friend, but trying to talk to the chick I was with. And I found out, and I'm like, damn, this dude trying to be my best friend, this and that. Keep in mind, she was entertaining him, but I didn't know that because I was going through, but she's supposed to be with me when I'm sick. Right. So when I found out, I go to church, I see him, 
I didn't fight him, obviously, but um, I mean, it was uh, he came up, he was having a pamphlet, and I just stared at him. I kind of walked up to him a little bit, but I calmed myself down. And I kind of, we left. We walked out a little bit. Of course, my mama called me on the phone, don't be acting like that, da, da, da. but you know, that's the only time. So I didn't blow up and fought, but I didn't walk away from it. So there's your answer. You said you couldn't. Um, I could. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I could. But before then, uh, before my dad passed away, me and him always had real, real serious talks. Like I said, I've been hurt before, you know. Um, and he said, and no, I'm, I'm told straight up, and I said this before millions of times. You can't control what a person do, what a person say. You can just control how you react to it. How you react to it says a lot about you. And was just that brother righteous, right? No, I'm being honest. That's the honest answer. You That's my dad told me. Yeah. yeah. Because I would have. I would have done this. And, but then after I did it, so what's the most pettiest thing you ever done? What the fuck are you talking about? No. Why? No, I just want to know. <laughs> Good question. I mean, but what do I got to do? The pettiest no, fuck thing? That. We just want to know what's the most pettiest thing that you have ever done while you was in a relationship or no relationship. while you was broke up with somebody? The most pettiest shit that you have ever done? Uh, I knew their Netflix, I knew their email and their Netflix password, oh, so I changed their Netflix password so they could Fuck out of here. No, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. What did you do? No, Go ahead. No, yes. I think I'm going to change the Netflix password. I'm not a petty person. Yes, you are. Everybody got pettiness in them. I'm petty? You, yes. Yes, shut up, bro. You like, get the fuck out of here. You ain't going to sit here and tell me the petty What's thing. What's the pettiest thing you've done? Now, how y'all going to tell me that? What I'm saying is, isn't true. I'm because you, I'm not a petty person. Oh man, I'll talk shit. Yeah, but I mean, hey, what's the pettiest thing you done, <laughs> Raven? I don't know. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Since y'all making it about me, <laughs> shit, I'm trying to do the right thing. Y'all killing me for it. Do the right thing. No, what's the pettiest thing you done? I mean, you ran somebody over. Shit. Like that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ran them over. Is that the pettiest thing you did? Or or what? Or, or did you do like slash some tires or no? I don't slash or, like, tires. I mean, shit. I don't know. I don't destroy property. Okay. So petty as you did. Just say it. you're over there. <laughs> I'm like no because she I'm... don't want to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to ex. Right, like, 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 her ex is gonna be watching this. Like I knew it. <laughs> I knew she was gonna move fucking whatever. You ain't ever throwing no clothes. Nah, man. Hell, I have. Oh God. Wait, I only, live, I only lived, but when I was in a relationship, I only lived with two, well, me and a female got a place together, only two, throughout my whole life. No, and, but I'm just saying, like, you have a female that you've been dating. No, no, I didn't did did give that to her. I, I literally give that to her. I give it back, I'm going to come grab her stuff. Because I'm like this, man, you pick your fights. You got to do the right thing. No, it's not doing the right thing, it's just saying you pick your own, you, you pick your battles. Give me some right I, I throw her shit away. Yep. What the fuck you think she's going to do to my shit? And females are petty, dog. But does she have your shit to do yeah. something to it? She could easily... My car is parked outside. Okay, so this nigga want to throw away my clothes. Okay, motherfucker. Good luck getting to work. Slash my brakes. I don't know what the fuck. Put some sugar in my tank. <laughs> uh, you pick and choose your parents. <laughs> yeah. And if a man throw your clothes away, are you just going to let that shit slide? Or are you going to go after him? He throw all your clothes away. You got yeah, some... You just got clothes stashed at that person. Well, I'm just saying, though. You got a hell of clothes stashed at that person. He throw your shit away. Do you just whatever walk away or do you get them back? Some things you just gotta let go. Like it's yeah. like I don't want it anyway. You gotta chop it up as a loss sometimes. Cause I'm not gonna leave my nice pair of shoes or expensive ass purse or makeup at your house anyway. I might leave a shirt or something I don't care about. Yeah, right. Not like just throw it away. It's nothing. Females slash the tires out of my car. Blow that motherfucker up, please. <laughs> Insurance can for real. Right. Yeah, please right. set it on fire. All right. Do the most. Right. Yeah, if a person shit on you, you believe you should just now. You, the advice you would give them is just leave your relationship or yes. if it's worth it and people make mistakes, do they give them a second chance? Can you have given men a second chance before on cheating? Now you're saying don't do it. So are you saying for the, so are you saying that you wish you knew what you knew now to where if he cheated the first time you would never went back? Yes. And let's say they got a kid together. So even still, let it go? For what? I mean, I mean, that, that's what I said everybody's before, situation like, is different. It depends. Like you might work it out, and you that person never cheats again. You know what I'm saying? But then sometimes it seems like the same thing. Like a year later, you do it all over again, or two years later. I don't care. But me personally, if you cheat, I'm done. There's no more second chances with that part. I give a lot of second chances. No. I'm a very lenient person. I'm a very honest person. I deal with a lot. I'll do anything for a person. I'm there if you need me. 
but the cheating part I can't I can't tolerate no more I can't I can't it's too many diseases it's too many people and whatever the poly relationships and it's too many gay people behind the closet door and now you're cheating so now I got to go get checked out because you wanted to be a cheater and do some weird sick shit mm -hmm. and I can't like why are you stressing out my life like that I, now I'm gonna have to if I'm gonna keep you I already know inside of me that I'm gonna want to check your phone if you're at work or you say you're going somewhere I'm going to be I, my head shouldn't have to be doing this while you're out thinking you can be going somewhere innocent oh I'm taking my mom to Bible study and I'm like that where so, are you going? Bible study it, as in Olive Garden, which are, you know what I'm saying? My, I'm going to start thinking, like you said, you you start thinking about stuff, so now that I know how I am with a cheater, why won't I put myself through it? That's like, no, you decided to cheat, and I'm deciding to leave. Okay. Um, so, do you, it's easy for you to trust someone in your relationship. Do you trust my family, or is it hard for you to trust? Why when someone, because... He never gave you a reason to doubt. No, so I'll trust know. you until you show me otherwise or until I see something or hear something. I'd be like, oh, I ain't gonna lie. If I'm with somebody and we're cool and you always get messages at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and I ask you about it and you say something but it's still always happening, then I'm gonna, of course, be like, okay, you're cheating. Okay. Because depending on the job that you do, there's nobody that should be calling you at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning every night all the time. Mm -hmm. Personally. Same. And what about you? Um, if, someone, if a woman cheats on you, and y'all been together for two years. She fucked up, she's crying, she knows she you you know she regrets it. You know she's sorry. And you honestly love this woman. Do you forgive her? You're like, baby, listen. Hey, you do with it. You did what? Yeah. Okay. Two years so sweet. Yeah, I mean, cause like I well, me personally, I think that it's gonna happen. You're going to like somebody or something is gonna happen. Like everybody's gonna Especially in this era of texting and digital shit, like I say before. Mentally, somebody else could have your girl. Like, if your girl don't know something, like, like if I introduce you to something new and you really like it, you're going to rely on me to, like, find out information. It sounds like, so, do you feel like everybody cheats? Um, in a certain aspect. I feel like it, it's going to happen in a relationship. No matter what. No matter who yeah, it's, 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 it's just going to happen. Okay. Me? <coughs> I don't like this, you guys. Um, I believe somebody cheat once, they'll cheat again. The reason why, because now they cheated on you and you forgave them. So with some people, they be like, damn, this person must really love me to forgive me, so what else can I get away with? Exactly. That's fucked up to think, but it's real. Like, sure. damn, I cheated, I've done this, and she's still keeping me here? Okay, I'm not going to do it again, supposedly, but now I feel like I can kind of walk over this person a little bit. I might be wrong, but that's how people think a lot well, of times. I agree. You know? So would you rather be with so, a cheater or a thief? What would I rather be with a cheater or, or a thief? Cheater, thief, or addict? Okay. Neither. I'll be single. Me too. Because ain't no way I would be happy with any of either one of those people. What, are, what else are you willing to deal with that would be considered taboo in a relationship? I can deal with a lot of stuff. I can deal with a lot of things. Like, who wants to deal with a cheater? You mean to tell me that you're just going to keep dealing with a cheater and saying it's okay? And this is where we live in today, honestly, no. cheating comes with so much more. So I don't want to deal with it. I don't want okay. to be stressed out if you're not laying in the bed next to me at a certain time. Yeah, you go out, I go out. I like to hang out with my friends. I know you may have, like to hang out with you. Whatever the case may be. But at a certain time, it's like, four, five, six in the morning, you still ain't home. Okay, why? What are you doing? Ain't that much turned up in the world. I ain't saying just because you're in a relationship, you got to stop going out. So, so I don't believe in that. What problems are you willing to deal with? Then? So I'll deal with anything else. A thief is just like, let's talk about it. Why so, are you a thief? Say it's me and you dating. Not you might not like to go out. Yeah. I don't always have to go out, but I love to go out every now and then. I work, I deserve it, whatever. But I, like, my dude's at home, so y'all, we can go out and turn up, but I got to be at home. My man, if he says he wants me, like, it's fine, babe, go out. Let's discuss the time. One or two, done. Three, four, five, six, why are you still out? Cause you like the party, you know. No, you're but right? still. You like the party. No, but if you, I mean, if you're in a relationship, what is out there? Like, like I mean, I ain't. I don't like it. See, and and then, I'm calling your phone and you ain't answered? That's when like, I think that you have been hurt before or whatever and you start thinking of shit like that. Because I could be at Ray's house till like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in the morning and you like, yo, what the fuck are you doing over there? Hey, I'd be like, I'm like, coming too. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, if I'm in a relationship with you and I, and I trust you and there's nothing there, then of course it's, it's fine. I'm gonna believe you. Because there's been times where I've been with people and they are. I dated a dude who loved his rap career. So if I wasn't in the studio till four or five in the morning, what if I was like, listen, 
I know you're doing your thing. I ain't coming up in here because I'm tired. I have to go to work. I have kids. I can't be in the studio with you like that. When I would go home, I know that he would be in the studio. I trusted that he was in the studio because that's where he was at when I was with him. I had no reason to believe that he was doing something else. So I never ever thought anything ill because, I mean, I never would because he didn't show that to me. A good woman, I just feel like the moment you see something, you don't like you walk away though. though. No, because uh, there's a lot I of things like that I do. That, you're not really going to ever find something stable. You walk away every time something. No, not, 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 that you don't all, like. not all the time. Honestly, not all the time. It just depends on the situation. It just depends on the guy, the person. No, I ain't going to say it depends on that because the person probably showed me their true colors. Mm -hmm. Or I seen something where it's like, is it even worth staying? Right. I needed a person when I was doing this, they wasn't there for me. Or I asked this question and they wasn't there for me. So therefore, I know who I am and I know what I do and I know what I bring to the table and what I dish out. Okay. Why am I about to give this person 90% and then this motherfucker's giving me 48%? That's a true statement. All right. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So sum it up. Somebody she let it go because you ain't never going to trust them. You agree? Don't you, he don't agree. He feel like they cheat. Forgive him. I agree. I believe it's gonna happen again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't be with I, you. I believe you. I know because everybody I know that did cheated did it again. There's not one person I know that did cheated that didn't do it again. Wait, man. Uh, but you hear about like back then in the 50s, 60s, your grandpa, grandpa, your grandpa like cheated like one time, and grandma be like, "You still fucking around with that bitch from like?" <laughs> and you like, yo. That bitch is not interested. No, you know what? People believe it. My grandma, my granny. It sucks because my grandpa was a cheater. He has two kids by somebody else. When it's and it's my grandma, and he has my mom and three other, right. like five of them, and then he has a kid by somebody else. My aunt, and then he has a, a, a son with somebody else. My but when I left my son's father, mm -hmm. my grandma was like, "Why? You're supposed to ride it out and stick together, baby. No matter what happens, no matter what they do, you're supposed to." Have that bond when you have that's true, somebody, but, not but it's just like, girl, you got like, you got two other big exactly. mamas you deal with when you're married. Exactly. But he pays the bills and he comes home to me and he pays the bill, but it's not worth it yeah. to me because what yeah. you're still smiling, but you know deep down you're not happy. Yeah. If you're not happy, let it go. Because exactly, yeah. like no, that's disrespectful that's to me, and that's how it was going to end up being because it was like my situation. I was like, okay, you cheated once, I. I forgave you. Then you cheated again, so you made, I mean, I said you made me cheat, but it was, the door was open to me, and somebody showed me a little bit of attention. I was just like, honestly, to get back at you, I cheated. Mm -hmm. And then from there, then you and he would let me do anything by myself. You know what I'm saying? If I was going somewhere, he's like, I'm coming too. I'm going to my mama's house, I'm coming too, but it's girls, I'll be upstairs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh my God. Every day I get home, if I'm in the shower, brushing my teeth, I walk out, and he's on my phone like, just checking your activities today. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, okay, this is what to be uncomfortable. Is this what it was? So if I would have cheated first, would you have left me or forgave me? You know what I'm saying? Right. It, 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 I asked him that question. And then he did tell me, he was like, if I would if you would have cheated on me, I would have left you. If I he told me that if you cheated on me first, I wouldn't be with you. I think anybody answer will be you should not leave, but a lot the ones that say that are the ones that end up staying with the person. I know more. A lot of times. I'm out of there. Alright y'all, so it's been another episode of the Inedible. I'm your boy Ray Anfi. Find me on Instagram, chillin86. Beautiful lady. Raven, where can they find you at? All over. I don't want y'all to know social media. Actually. <laughs> Facebook, my regular name, Raven. You can look it up, I'm pretty sure it's not There's that There's millions of Raven. No, Alright, we don't know. I'll, I'll, I don't have I'll Twitter. Who has Twitter? Ew, wait, wait. Oh, here. <laughs> no, I'm terrible. <laughs> 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 Alright y'all.